What the hell is this? Hi guys, my name is Wild Mar. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you're all ready for another episode of so today I thought I'd talk about a big part of my life, which some of you may not know, and that is that I'm dyslexic. I said that, I said that funny. Dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. I basically struggle to read and write, and it's part of a learning disability. So I'm going to Google dyslexia. Can't get it out of this freaking case. So on Wikipedia it says, Dyslexia, also known as a reading disorder or fairly ironic that I can't can't pronounce that word is a learning difficulty characterized by trouble reading despite a normal intelligence different people are affected to different <laughs> different people are affected to different degrees problems may include Sounding out words, spelling words, reading quickly, writing words, pronouncing words, when reading aloud, and understanding what was read. I'm actually very proud of myself for reading that out loud. I, I really struggle with reading out loud. Well done, me! So, if that sounds like anything you struggle with, if that sounds like you at all, then maybe this video is going to help you out somewhat. Here are a few things that people with dyslexia struggle with every day. Not being able to read or spell like a normal human being. Johan Lee Wiss Gu Gu R An T Pretty much forget everything. Damn, son. Terrible with maps and finding places. <sighs> I have no idea where I am right now. Not being able to concentrate for more than five minutes. Oh, I seriously, seriously need to get on with some work. I am never, ever going to get this hand in on time if I do not work now. I'll tell you what I do. I'll watch a few YouTube videos to inspire me and help me work. Warning, this video is in no way helpful or informative other than instructing you on exactly what to avoid doing when you want to be productive. Terrible, terrible memory. Wait. Haven't I already said that? Ah, oh. <laughs> I have already said that. Ironic! <laughs> Listening is very difficult. I mean, he just never listens to me. He never mm. listens to what I have to say. Mm. And it's so frustrating. Like, the other day, I literally, literally could not get a word in. He just does mm. not listen. I want Shame to know what you're wearing on your feet. What on earth did you just say? I literally have no idea. I'm so sorry. Reading things and actually reading them. If you do not leave this place in five to six minutes, you will definitely die. Everything I just read, I definitely took in. So if you think you are struggling with dyslexia, here are a few things that might help you that I discovered. Number one would be try reading on a yellow background. Yeah! It's not just yellow, I mean, loads of colours work for me, blue or green, and it really helps me read. If you're dyslexic, then give it a shot, it might actually really help you out. Number two, try recording things on a device. Now I can stare deep into your face and never listen to a word you say, but still have it down on a note. I used to take notes in class. Instead of doing that, I get a dictaphone out and I record. <laughs> he said dick. <laughs> dictaphone. And I record instead of taking notes and this really helps me out because I'm not trying to concentrate on what the person's just said. I can relax and just let the machine do all the hard work for me. It's brilliant. I recommend it to anyone. Let everybody know you're dyslexic. Guys, I have something to confess. I'm dyslexic as f Might seem like you're trying to gain attention from this, but in fact it is one of the best things you can do. If everybody knows you're dyslexic, then nobody's going to judge you for silly mistakes that you'll make that to you are quite normal, but maybe to other people, quite embarrassing. If they think, oh, he's just dyslexic, then, you know, it's not such a big deal. Number four, 
Try different things to help you learn. Now after years of struggling with reading and writing, I found things that really helped me out. And particular things are really weird, but they really do help me out. Like the feel of a pen or pencil can help me concentrate and write better. And music can really make a difference to what I'm writing. I actually can't listen to music when I write an essay. It, it turns into a, a disaster. <laughs> So that leads on to my next point, number five, eat sweets. <laughs> For me, this really helped me. Uh, if I went into a class and I struggled to concentrate, if I was eating a sweet, then I could concentrate a lot better. And I don't know why, but it really helped me. And through my exams, I ate so many sweets because they really helped me. And I recommend that to anyone as well. However, do make sure to brush your teeth, otherwise you will end up like this guy. And number six, talk to someone. Dude, I have something to confess. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm really dyslexic. Oh, me too. Is that why you can't spell for shit? Yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> if you are struggling with dyslexia, then it shouldn't be something you have to go through by yourself. It is a big deal, and it is really life-changing. You can talk to anybody, even if you're at college, school, university, or even at work. There will be someone there that can help you. Another thing is that teachers won't ask you to do things you don't want to do if they know you're dyslexic. Nobody has asked me to read off a whiteboard since year four because they all know I can't do it. Another thing to remember is that you're not stupid. Having dyslexia does not mean that you are thick. It just means that you struggle with reading and writing. In fact, you've got a perfectly normal intelligence. It's not something you need to get down about. It often got me down how I couldn't read or write like everybody else and I felt stupid, but the fact of the matter is, I'm not stupid, I'm actually a fairly intelligent. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video by just saying if you ever want someone to talk to, then let's leave a massive support group in the comments section below saying encouraging things to other dyslexics. Even if you're not dyslexic, comment below just saying something nice. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I have plans to do something for a 200 subscriber special, but I don't know what that is yet. So I'm going to need you guys to comment down below and let me know what you want me to do. Preferably a challenge thing. I'll happily do a Q&A. So if you guys can think of something uh, creative and original, then comment them down below. Even if it's not, I want to hear it. I want to see what you guys come up with. If you have anything that you want to say to me directly, then you can tweet me and follow me there, and I'll be sure to reply to everybody. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching another... Oh, Until next week, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.